Major US media have once again hyped the US restrictions on the sale of Dutch tech giant ASML Holdings, advanced chip equipment to Chinese firms, and bragged about the measure's impacts on China's technological progress. The Biden administration is trying to make sure ASML doesn't sell to China the extreme ultraviolet EUV lithography system, a $150 million machine that's essential to making advanced chips in everything from cutting-edge smartphones and 5G cellular equipment to computers used for artificial intelligence. The high-level push, which has not previously been reported, demonstrates the importance the White House places on preventing China from getting hold of a machine required to make the world's fastest microprocessors. It also shows the challenges facing the U.S. government's largely unilateral efforts to stem the flow of advanced technology to China. The U.S. campaign began in 2018 after the Dutch government gave semiconductor equipment company ASML the global leader in a critical chip-making process known as lithography, a license to sell its most advanced machine to a Chinese customer. The ASML's EUV lithography system is mostly used to produce advanced chips of 7 nanometer, 5 nanometer, and 3 nanometer, which only account for 17% of the total market, given that the other 83% of the demand is for chips for 10 nanometer and above. China has brought space for innovation. Now it's of greater significance for China to use mature technology to improve chips' performance, according to Wu Hanming, academic of the Chinese Academy of Engineering and Dean of the School of Micro Nanoelectronics of Zhejiang University. With a market value of more than 110 billion euros, ASML has grown to dominate the lithography market over the last two decades and is the pride of the Dutch industry. It's now the only company able to supply EUV machines, which make the most advanced types of chips found in newer phones and game consoles, to industry giants like TSMC or Intel. As of September 2021, the company had sold 125 EUV machines. That might not sound like much, but there aren't a lot of companies that are capable of manufacturing the most advanced type of chips using these machines and ASML sells them for more than $100 million each. But despite ASML's recent momentum, there is one area of uncertainty on the horizon. As a result of trade tensions between Washington and Beijing, the company has been blocked from selling its most advanced machines to China. Although the country currently only sells 7.6% of the world's chips, according to the Semiconductor Industry Association, this number is growing fast and chips are one of seven technologies Beijing has targeted for development. Attempts to block China from the global supply chain have created concern that the country will rush to develop its version of ASML, threatening the Dutch company's outsized influence over the semiconductor market. Over the following months, US officials examined whether they could block the sale outright and held at least four rounds of talks with Dutch officials. With no way to block the sale directly, the Trump administration pressed its Dutch ally to consider the security issues. Lithography equipment falls under the purview of an international agreement known as the Wassenaar Arrangement, which coordinates export restrictions of so-called dual-use technology that has commercial and military applications. The pressure appears to have worked. Shortly after the White House visit, the Dutch government decided not to renew ASML's export license, and the $150 million machines have not been shipped. The USA thought that by keeping the most complicated machine out of China's reach, the US policymaker seems to have found a key lever to stopping China from building a completely self-sufficient supply chain in semiconductor technology. However, it's not the case. Just as ASML chief executive Peter Winning said, Washington's anti-China tech blockade is a bad idea that will backfire. The export controls against China will not only fail to stop its technological progress, but also hurt the US economy. Export controls against China will not only fail to halt its technological progress, but also hurt the US economy, ASML holding NV Chief Executive Officer Peter Winnick said. After the trade tensions between Washington and Beijing led to restrictions on the sale of the Dutch company's advanced chip equipment to Chinese firms. Winnick said during an online industry event, I believe that export controls are not the right way to manage your economic risks if you have determined that there is an economic risk. He closed China from access to technology that will also cost non-Chinese economies a lot of jobs and a lot of income. While it'll take a long time for China to build its semiconductor equipment and technology due to a lack of access to foreign technology, eventually non-Chinese companies will be shut out of one of the largest chip markets when exempt. Which turns out to be true. On November 29th Beijing time, the Institute of Optoelectronic Technology of the Chinese Academy of Sciences announced that the National Research and Development Equipment Development Project, Super Resolution Lithography Equipment Development, passed the acceptance test and became the world's first 22 nanometer resolution lithography machine realized by the ultraviolet light source. 
According to China Science and Technology Daily, Hu Song, Deputy Director of Institute of Optoelectronic Technology of the Chinese Academy of Sciences, revealed that the newly accepted lithography machine uses a 365 nanometer UV mercury lamp, a cost of only tens of thousands of dollars. While lithography, the price of the whole machine is in the range of 1 million yuan to 10 million yuan. Hu Song also said that the processing capability of the lithography machine developed by the Institute of Optoelectronic Technology of the Chinese Academy of Sciences is between the deep ultraviolet and extreme ultraviolet levels. Although it's just the beginning of China's EUV journey and despite its 20 years of lithography machine development, its current 90 nanometer equipment is still 10 years behind ASML's products. In the immediate term, it's not an easy task for China to achieve technology independence in advanced ship equipment, but if the US continues its mistaken technology blockade, China will only ramp up its efforts. Under the blockade and containment by the US, China has decided to promote its independent research and development capacities. From an industrial perspective, when the market drive is strong enough, progress in ship equipment will come sooner than expected. It's estimated that China will be able to achieve a key breakthrough in the development of deep ultraviolet or DOV lithography systems in less than three years, and in EUV in less than five years. If that happens, ASML's business could start to suffer from the US-China technology wars. Until now, the financial impact has been negligible because the single EUV scanner ordered by China's most advanced foundry, SMIC, has been shipped to another customer. It isn't obvious that there will also be demand for the immersion scanners that ASML isn't allowed to sell to Chinese chip makers. Last year, ASML's revenue from system sales in China was 1.9 billion euros, representing 13.2% of total revenue. That's a significant market, but it's unclear how much it would be impacted by an immersion ban since Chinese sales partly go to fabs owned by non-Chinese companies in China. Additionally, sales may also include less advanced dry R4 KRF equipment. The Veldhoven headquartered company declined to provide more detailed sales data. Currently, only the supply of EUV scanners to Chinese companies is being restricted. Following U.S. diplomatic pressure, the Dutch government didn't renew the export license for EUV technology in 2019. Since then, renewal has been under review, but without a date set as to when the procedures should be complete. It's generally assumed that the license has been put on hold indefinitely. Now it seems the U.S. might push for expanding the restrictions to DUV immersion equipment. Even amid the global chip supply shortage, the U.S. obstruction of a potential deal between ASML and Chinese companies an arbitrary move that violates a basic principle of a free market economy will only have a limited impact on China. What is certain is that if the US stubbornly insists on going its way and continues to impose a technology blockade and containment on China, only its economy will be hurt. According to estimates from the US Department of Commerce, if American business with China on semiconductors is cut off completely, it'll probably cost anywhere between 80 to 100 billion dollars in sales and 125,000 jobs in the US. The crisis, meanwhile, has raised several questions. Is the crisis of the semiconductor industry the precursor to the fragmentation of the global supply chains? Will it lead to warring blocks with the US at one pole and China at the other? With this fragility of the supply chain, are we seeing the end of globalization as a paradigm?